The best way to learn any spec is to focus on learning the priority list of spells and when to alter to fit the situation. With balance, there are only a few spells to keep track of and their priority is mostly altered by multiple targets and the movement of your eclipse bar. First let's look at talents, even though there aren't any interesting choices here. With Balance Druid, the talents that affect DPS don't change on a fight by fight basis. Displacer Beast is a blink with a speed boost that shifts you into cat form. Just remember to swap back to moon conform. Your Sarah's Gift isn't a terrible choice if you're learning the spec and want less buttons, but the burst tail from Renewal can be life saving. Typhoon is a nice knockback, but don't forget about Fairy Swarm if your raid needs something slowed. Always use Incarnation. Ursel's Vortex is helpful for grouping and slowing adds, but if you think you need a stun and want to stand in melee of the add to do it, then Mighty Bash will work. Nature's Vigil doesn't do much healing, but it's the best choice here and might take the edge off a mechanic. Always use Euphoria, it makes your Eclipse Bar move twice as fast, and the empowerments you gain from Star Surge also reduce the cast time of their spell. The major glyphs that you want to use are Glyph of Moonwarding, Glyph of Stampeding Roar, and Glyph of Rebirth. The stat priority for balance is Mastery, Crit, Haste, Multi-Strike, and last, Versatility, being far and away the worst stat. Keep in mind that having a higher item level is almost always better than optimal secondaries. The rotation boils down to having both Moonfire and Sunfire up at all times, keeping Star Search charges under 3, and using Starfire or Wrath as your filler. If there are more than one targets, you want to keep your Moonfire and Sunfire up on everything, and use most of your Star Surge charges on keeping Starfall active as much as possible. No matter how many targets there are, you never want to use Hurricane. You know what, we should just go ahead and remove Hurricane from our bars. If you have a Heroic or Mythic Seed of Creation, the trinket from Archimond, you should take Starfall off your bars because it is no longer worth casting alone. You'll still want star fall up as much as possible on fights with multiple targets, even if it means using star surge and solar more than you would normally like to. I would not recommend using this trinket if it is from normal. An important part of knowing how to play Balanced Druid comes with learning how to do your rotation around the ever-moving Eclipse Bar. The Eclipse Bar is a visualization of how your mastery is affecting your lunar or solar spells at any moment. When the slider is in the middle, your mastery is split in half between both lunar and solar spells. As the slider moves, your mastery is taken from one and given to the other until the slider reaches the edge, where it pauses for a few moments as you peek and have the full effects of your mastery given to that side. Your mastery is applied to the spell when the cast finishes, so try and have all casts end in their respective side, even if the slider hasn't made it all the way there yet. Also, when you cast Star Surge, you gain an empowerment buff, which increases the damage of either two Starfires or three Wraths. Where the slider is located when you cast Star Surge is what determines which spell will get the buff. Starfire does much more damage than Wrath, so try and cast most of your Star Surges during Lunar. Aim to cast your Star Surges shortly after you enter Lunar, so that your empowered Starfires are cast during your peak. Just like Star Surge usage, there's an optimal way to reapply your Moonfire and Sunfire. When you hit a peak, you get a buff that increases the damage of the application of the corresponding dot by 100%. This is less of a big deal than the buff sounds. You should avoid spending globals on dots during your peaks because you should be dropping as many empowered starfires and wraths as you can. The dot application buff does last just long enough so that you can cast it after leaving your peak and when your mastery is relatively low. Don't worry too much about being perfect at reapplying dots, just make sure that they stay on because their damage is what gives you extra star surges. Another aspect of dots to take into account is the window where you can refresh the dot while it's still on the target and that time gets added in. This window for all classes is 30% of the total duration, which is 12 seconds for Moonfire and 7 seconds for Sunfire. These times will help you know if you should refresh as you enter or leave a side. For example, you should look at your Sunfire before you enter Solar, and if it has under 6 or 7 seconds, you want to refresh right away to avoid having to do it during a peak. Balance has two cooldowns, Incarnation and Celestial Alignment. They are both 3 minutes and should always be used together. Make sure to use Celestial Alignment when you're on the Lunar side because you want to have your Star Surges and power your Starfires. It is a huge waste of DPS if you accidentally use it too early or late. Use cooldowns shortly after entering Lunar so that you're in Lunar for most of Incarnation. In other words, try and mimic the opener as much as possible. If your cooldowns come up and the fight has less than 3 minutes left, you should try and save them for Ring. The opener for Balance is relatively simple. First, precast Incarnation 2.5 seconds before the pull. Pre-pot during the global cooldown and immediately follow with a Star Surge. 
Use Celestial Alignment when your global from Star Surge is almost over. Then cast Moonfire, which will apply both of your dots because of CA. Now cast two Starfires to use the empowerments from the pre-pull Star Surge. Follow those up with a second Star Surge and another set of Starfires. Keep the pattern of Star Surge, Double Starfire until either you run out of Star Surges or move into Solar. Before Celestial Alignment falls off, don't forget to refresh your dots. At this point it should go without saying that Weak Ores is probably the most important add-on for raiding. Having an add-on or Weak Ore for tracking your empowerments is incredibly useful for optimizing your DPS. I use Enhanced Eclipse Bar as a way to track my Eclipse Bar, Empowerments, and Dot Peak Buff. There's also a very good Weak Ore that does a similar thing that I have linked below in the description, along with other Weak Ores that could be helpful. Forte Exorcist is my preferred add-on for tracking my Dots and CDs on all my classes. The main points I hope you take away from this video are that you should always be keeping your dots up, empower as many starfires as possible, and aim to only be casting starfires, wraths, or star surges during your eclipse peaks.